Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. From the news, I gather there's a lot more fighting coming up. I hope you can avoid most of the danger. So, Pat Hodges finally got there. Looks like the old team's back together again, huh? Tell him I said hello. On a more serious note, your younger brother's been getting into a bit of trouble lately. Jamie couldn't get a scholarship the way you did, and he hasn't found any steady work since school ended. I tried to interest him in something at the plant, but he'd rather hang out with his do-nothing buddies. One of them got himself arrested the other week, and the police were over the house questioning Jamie. I don't know what we can do about him. I'm sure you have enough to worry about over there, but I thought you'd like to know. Maybe you could send Jamie a letter when you get a chance. Try to give him a kick in the ass. Remember, your mother and I love you and miss you a lot. Stay safe. Love, Dad. All right, we're touching down on the beach. You blue legs must clear the beach before we can drop off the rest of our men. Those marsh monkeys are dug in, so expect some serious heat. Looks like our ass is going to be in the hurt locker today. Dig that, some number 10,000 shit. Awesome, okay? Just praying. You ever do that, Hodges?
Copy that, Red Dog Toon, and give me one second here. Damn this map, piece of shit. Six, we need to move our position. Red Dog Three's moving right up our ass. Relax for a minute, Two. Keep your shorts on. You must be Red Dog Three. Six, this is Three. We're right on top of Red Dog Two. We're both awaiting orders. Apparently not. Who are you guys again? Uh, we're Four, sir. Four, right, I know. You guys need to get up this hill. There are a few patrols already up there clearing out tunnels and bunkers that the artillery couldn't knock out. It's pretty hairy. Good luck. Six, two! We're pulling our butt up here! Waiting orders! God damn it! Give me two fucking seconds to think here! With all due respect, sir, it appears there's a log jam on the hill. Due respect? Pretty far fucking from it. I am the one in charge here! Now get your asses up that hill! Get out of my sight. That's our six on this mission? Shit. We are seriously fucked, my brothers. You'd think they'd park his butt behind a desk somewhere. Get Jesus down! Christ, that was close! Fucking six needs to double check his core!
You ladies got here just in time. We gotta push on up that hill. Artie strikes have been softening it up for us, but Charlie is dug in and extremely agitated. Situation sucks, sir. Charlie's controlling the hillside. None of the army has uprooted him. Most of it's falling short right on top of us. It's a clusterfuck, sir. I tried to call off the strikes, but there uh, seems to be some confusion. That dipshit McFadden would have trouble ordering dinner. That doesn't change the fact that we got to get up this hill. Hodges, get on the horn and tell that son of a bitch to cancel the army. We'll follow with some fresh boards if we need to. But for now, cancel that shit. Yes, sir. Six, this is Red Dog Four. We are pushing on to the top of the hill. Cancel the Artie. Over. Now let's get up this goddamn hill! We gotta pull back! Negative! It's falling behind us, too! Safest place is on top of the hill! Let's move!
couldn't fight your way out of a thick fog, you know that? Let's get off this hill, man! Boy, if you ever put my fucking men in harm's way again, I'll put you down for good. Jesus Christ, you're crazy! What seems to be the problem over here? Lieutenant Trasic? Nothing, sir. Lieutenant McFadden? Nothing, sir. That's what I thought. Lieutenant Trasic, we are missing a support column of armor somewhere to the north, between this hill and the village of Ankuang. You take your men down there and look around. Radio back when you find them. Move out. Yes, sir! McFadden! I'd like to have a word with you. Move it, move it, move it! McFadden. The bastard dropped out of Dartmouth, but his rich dad he couldn't keep his ass out of the Nam. Some bitch probably racked up more friendly kills than we got VC. I shit you not. Stay with you. I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh, Stay with me. I'm right Jesus. here. You're all right. You're all right. You're gonna be all right.
warming up! Good enough for a heart, but not a medevac. I'm cool. Just settle up, grunts. Let's get down there and check it out.
getting our asses handed to us. We just got snipers all over those trees. We're also dug in along the tree line. That boat. We've been pounding the hell out of them with that blooper gun, but still can't flush them out. Let's see what we can do. All right, men. We got a target that bunker with smoke. Hit it close, pop smoke right on the target. Once it's done, we pull back to this position and let the fast movers get to work. Let's go! Good today, man. We're not good. We're good. <coughs> it's gone.
Jamie, I know I haven't written you very often since I've been over here, but I figured Mom and Dad would keep you up to date. I'm sure you must be tired of hearing them talk about me, so I thought I'd write you direct. You probably heard on the news we had our first big fight against the Viet Cong. You wouldn't believe the kinds of tunnels those bastards did. We had to fight our way up a hill that was crawling with them. We lit up the entire hill with artillery, but we still had to fight for every inch of it. We were all scared as hell, but most everyone I know got through it. Except our lieutenant, Zook. He took it in the chest and died right there. Jamie, I can't explain to you how hard it is to see a close friend die in front of your eyes. As the war in Vietnam progresses through 1966 and into 67, the Viet Cong develop new tactics to blunt the material advantages of the United States. The Americans' use of the helicopter allow U.S. units to patrol vast swaths of countryside and respond quickly to enemy activity. In turn, VC units mount sudden attacks and ambushes on vulnerable American units, then melt into the jungle when help is on the way. Bases along the Ho Chi Minh Trail in neighboring Laos and Cambodia allow the Viet Cong to retreat in the face of superior forces where the Americans are forbidden to follow. American forces operate closely alongside the Army of the Republic of Vietnam to locate and destroy Viet Cong bases and supply caches and to wrest control of the countryside from communist insurgents. Americans serve as advisors and aides to Arvin troops especially in the hotly contested areas north of Saigon, known as War Zone C and the Iron Triangle. A series of operations with names like Attleboro and Cedar Falls are mounted to sweep this area clean of guerrilla activity. The difficulty of this task is compounded by the ingenious tunnel systems that crisscross this area. Dug by Viet Cong and local conscripts and well camouflaged, these underground structures range from simple spider holes and subterranean caches to elaborate bases with their own hospitals, munitions factories, and printing presses. Deep enough to be invulnerable to all but the largest American bombs, the tunnels allow the guerrillas to find safety and concealment until the Americans pass, then re-emerge with their insurgency capabilities intact.